Well, hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me here in my shop. It's October 30th, day before Halloween. And I really think I'm in the very last stages of this receiver, though I thought I'd been there for a few days now. So I was going to just reassemble everything and turn it on and listen to the whole thing, speaker, amplifier, receiver, and check through all the bands and do that kind of stuff, when of course I got curious about the magic eye again. It's very frustrating having worked so hard on this radio and then to have a problem like the magic eye uh, persist. And uh, The problem with the magic eye is it's just not closing all the way. And I don't think it's a fault of the tube at all. But one thing about nearly all magic eyes is that, up of this sort, up in the socket there is a resistor. Now I managed to get this socket apart without doing any damage to it. It's a different style from many of the others that I've worked on where there's a, a cap. Down in here you got to pry the cap out and then everything's released. But this one's different. This one's structured differently. I was able to get this down to it this collar out of the way. So there we are. Where's that resistor? It's not necessarily easy to see at first, especially in an out-of-focus camera. Anybody spot it yet? It's tucked up right inside here. It's been shoved up into a little gap under here. You can barely see it, but there it is. We're, we're going to test it. It's supposed to be a 1 million ohm. These things go high all the time. The sockets get hot. I believe that's really the problem. The sockets get hot after a while. They're usually high up in the radio, getting heated by everything. Plus, I got a tube plugged in it. And these resistors almost always go high. So, why don't we test it? Hey, that'd be a good idea. Let's test that. Now, the, the magic eye is still wired into the radio. So, you know, without looking, maybe there's a problem with doing this. Uh, in that there's, there's stuff hooked up to it. That's going to affect this measurement. Two million scale. Okay. Well, let's just try it right like this. Now, I think I did this uh, without taking it apart, and I think I got 1.2 uh, mega ohms. I'll have to stop and think if that's their actual reading. Let's try it like this. Huh. Hmm. Should have seen 1.2. Wow, am I getting this right? There's a resistor, a resistor lead there, and then the other one comes up over here. It's definitely that, definitely this. That's mysterious. If I get my fingers on it, what happened there? I got my fingers on it. So this looks like an open circuit, but the eye wouldn't work at all, I think, if that's the case. 22 mega ohms. No, 2.2 mega ohms. 2.2 mega ohms. Why not on this scale? For unknown reasons. So it's gone high by double. Uh, there's some other... There's I think it's got high. It's got, I, think, I think it's more than double. So I'm going to nip one little piece off. Obviously, we're going to replace this. Now we got it out here. I think I'd replace it even if it was a million. I'm just going to nip it here. You know, once you get it, something like this. Let's nip it right out. Let's just take it right. Pin one, pin two, pin three, and pin four. That's right. It's between two and four. Uh oh, what was that? Was that a cat? What was that funny sound? Now we'll be able to test it much better.
Brown, black, green. It's a one in a million. Here we go. I mean, it's open circuit here in this test, but, uh, oh, oh, maybe this is the reason why the eye jumped. Hmm. Okay, I'm ignoring my cat entirely. Sometimes they get the message and they go away. Well, Kazunite got. Holy smokes. Did you get a cold? Did you get a cold? Did you get my cold? Can cats get people's colds? Okay. Well, good thing we went after this. Uh, I just I just got a little bolder with trying to break into the uh, the thing here, and it worked out. No destruction. Okay, a 1 million ohm resistor. We'll put in the proper size resistor and uh, see what we get out of that. Just have to find one. So, just in thinking about the uh, apparently open resistor here, um, I don't think the eye can respond if that resistor is open to. So, so what's happened there, you know, who, who, who knows, of course, but what I think may have happened is the resistor failed as I removed it. And whatever last little bit of goodness was in it disappeared. It certainly would explain the uh, sudden variations in the eye uh, response that I saw so er so you know a long time ago working on this radio and So the eye is an interesting thing how it operates. It has a uh, has a triode in it, and uh, the uh, ABC signal is first uh, fed to the triode. Uh, that causes a plate current in the triode, and the plate current is fed through this million ohm resistor. And a little bit of current causes the uh, plate voltage to drop, and the plate is hooked up. So the electrode that's causing the beam to change. So you, so you have the, the triode and then there's a, literally a lead coming over to what I imagine is a post or a pin or something of that sort, an electrode sticking up, uh, uh, sticking up in the way of the electron cloud that, that's making the uh, eye glow. And so normally, with uh, with no signal, the potential of that post is very close to the uh, to the, uh, the, the I don't know what to call it, the eye plate. <laughs> There's two plates in here, you know, the part that turns green. So then, as the triode conducts more and more electricity, that that electrode uh, falls away from the plate voltage and starts causing the the eye to appear open, appear to open. Something like that. I think there's a much better <laughs> explanation. There's some excellent websites on the internet. Uh, go check it out. There's entire websites just on magic eyes alone. So.
but the way I see it, the higher the higher the resistance here, the more sensitive the meter becomes. The the eye opens. I don't know if that's quite correct. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to put in the standard one million ohms, and hope if it does hope it either does nothing to the operation of the eye or improves it. This, uh, this is needed on almost every old radio that has a magic eye that hasn't had this done already. This, this million ohm resistor, I, I, my, by my experience, is almost always high or open. There we are. Very good. Now, let's see if we can slide the housing back on it. Press fit. There's a little bump right, right there. It exists on the inside also. Okay, so there's a bump lock here somewhere or something. Why would they care how this slides on? exactly the way it was. So this this cover should really uh, be caught by little tangs in here. It should release the tangs and this cover should slide back this way. And then the insides will come out. Poke them out. Somebody previous to me yanked this off forward and then set it back on just the way it is now. Which is okay, but it's not really the way it should be. But that, that's not going to go anywhere. Nothing happens to the eye. There we go. Okay. Interesting. We start up this radio now. Maybe the eye is going to work better. You don't want to take a risk of peek at the magic eye at this point. for that. Bravo, Jim. Must have been that resistor. Everything is coming together. 